Why do you think the voters um, picked your firm for this uh, honour? Well, first of all, Eugene, I'd just like to say thank you to FTF. Uh, I think this is our third year in a row that we've been nominated for uh, a number of different awards. Uh, mm -hmm. So I wanted to, to, to thank you for your, your support and your recognition of our technology. I'd also like to thank our clients because without them and without them voting for us, we simply wouldn't be here today. But to answer your question directly, Eugene, I think our clients share our vision for uh, really developing disruptive technology that can really help and assist in the challenges around data integrity, around the complexities of, of, of regulatory compliance. Uh, and I think they just share our vision and feel that we're bringing something fresh and new to uh, often it's been quite a stale market dominated by legacy players. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, very pleased with the award and of course honoured to be amongst some very distinguished organisations as well. So uh, thank you, thanks to everybody. So what does Gresham have in store for the rest of this year and for next year? Eugene, we, we, we've, got, we've got some really exciting announcements coming down the pipeline. Um, you know, as you've probably seen by our, our company results, uh, you know, we're, we're winning customers on a very regular basis now. Uh, people are really buying into the technology, so I'm hoping to be able to, to announce more of those as we go through the year. We've also got a set of uh, very exciting product uh, announcements which will really support what our customers demand in terms of ensuring that they've got that data integrity across their organisation. We've also got some very interesting um, announcements to make around our innovation labs as well, but I kind of I don't want to sort of spoil the fun for everybody. Okay. Uh, all no, I'd like fine. to say is uh, watch this space, keep track of the website, and uh, and I'm sure you'll continue to see good news coming out of Gresham. Okay. And uh, lastly, what, what do you see as the biggest regulatory compliance issue among your clients? Well, that's it, I mean it's hard to put uh, something direct directly into one single issue, Eugene. I mean if you look at just focusing on the U.S. and what the regulatory landscape looks like in 2016. There's challenges around you know, new proliferations of Volcker rule. There's the, the capital and liquidity requirements. There's a whole set of uh, new requirements around BCS 239 and now 248 in terms of the, the liquidity aspects of, of managing, particularly in the capital markets. If you, if you go across the pond and, and further, where many firms are grappling with the global requirements of MIFID 2, particularly on the buy side, you've got the ISCO and uh, um, the, the Market Abuse Directive, there's the SMR, so there's this whole suite of regulation that's coming through and I think just kind of pinpoint it and say that you know there's only one issue that's kind of festering in the in a corner somewhere would, would, would is simply not true. So I think what's really important and I'd like to sort of leave this as a final thought with, with, with yourself is that you need flexible and agile technology to deal with this continually changing landscapes uh, of, of regulatory control and, and I think CTC is, is, is clearly, as hopefully demonstrated by the award that, that we win tonight, uh, is that we're the right technology to meet, to meet those requirements.